Scorpio, thank you for visiting. Uh, this is your reading for mid-December. And as I always ask you, you know what I say, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if you'd like to. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you very much, first of all, I really appreciate that. Um, if you could check that you're still subscribed, because people have been telling me, oh, I've been unsubscribed. I, I didn't unsubscribe, but it just happened randomly, which is really strange. So if you could check that, that would really help me a lot. Thank you very much. And um, if you want to support this channel, there are ways you can do that in the description as well. That's all I'm going to say about that. I don't like long introductions. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've got a cough as well. No more of that. I'm going to get right into your reading, Scorpio. So. Um, right, so the first card you've got for your past is this horrible Five of Swords. Um, cheating, stealing, all kinds of horrible things. Someone who's very greedy, uh, someone who wants more than they, they should have. Uh, so, so that's what I'm getting here already. I just think you're exhausted. I'm getting this retreating here, like these two men that are walking away here. It's like, I've had enough of this. I've had enough of people that are you know, bothering me. I've had enough of problems. I've had enough of people that are coming at me. I, I just want to be by myself. I just want to be by myself. I don't want to be hurt anymore. You know, I, all I'm going to do is sit here with my loved ones in my little bubble and just enjoy the people that I know love me and appreciate me. So, so I think that's how you've been feeling recently. I think that's probably how you're going to be probably, you know, maybe even till the, next, the end of the year. Because you've got that kind of, oh, I've just had enough. I'm just so tired. And you're not a total hermit because you've got the people who love you around you. You do have that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's very, very, very strong instinct to just retreat. Retreat away from everyone right now. And um, yeah, you just need a break. You just need a break. And it feels like you're being forced to make that break. So if that's how you feel, do that. Absolutely get that space get that time to yourself because I think it's going to go on for a while into your future. Um, maybe not next year, but definitely this week might even go into the next week. I don't know, but it, it does feel like you do need a big, big break. You need to get away from people who have really been at you. I'm getting that for someone here. Um, yeah, look, very, very draining. It, it's, it's just like, I, I just can't do this anymore. I just can't fight this anymore. And if you look at this Five of Swords, these two men have been in a battle with this other horrible man and he's taken their swords away and they're just walking away. They're just like, I, I really can't. I'm just too exhausted. I want to see the end of this now. I want to see the end of this now. Yeah, there's something, there's something here that you can't quite see the end of. You want to walk away, but you can't quite do that. There's some kind of you're tied into something I'm getting for someone here, if that's you. Um, you're tied into a situation with someone, might be an ex, um, and you need to finish that situation so that you can totally move on. But you haven't got any more strengths to fight this. That's what I'm getting. It's like, I know I have to fight this. I know I should fight this. It's not fair. This is an unfair situation. And you've got justice over there as well. This is an unfair situation. I need to fight this, but I'm just so exhausted. I can't, I can't do this anymore. So, and you're not like this. You're not like this. Scorpio's very feisty. You know, you've got that sting in your tail. You, you, you don't like injustice. You'll fight to the end. That's what you like. That's what I love about you. So this isn't like you. Um, so yeah, you've been forced to be tired, to retreat, to rest. You've been forced to do that for a reason. I'm not sure what that is. It might come up later on. It feels like it's not something you want to do, but you just feel like, oh, I'm just so tired. I can't do this anymore. Um, if this is a court case, it might be, because again, you've got the justice card up there. If it's a court case, <clears throat> again, it might be that this person owes you something. Because you can see again in this Five of Swords, he's stolen the swords. The swords don't belong to him. So maybe someone's taken something from you, maybe there's something that belongs to you, you know you should fight this, you know whatever this thing is should be yours, but you're just exhausted. That's what I'm getting. So if that's you, if you feel like, oh, I want to walk away from all this, I can't fight anymore. If it is a court case or if it's something else like that, if it's litigation or if it's some kind of, um, um, some kind of process you're in with someone where you're tied in until the end, See if you can take a break from that. See if you can stop this 
um, just for a short time or for what, however time you need and see if you can come back to it later on. Just see if you can do that. You know, if it's a court case that can be done, if, if you're not ready, if you've got other problems, if you can say, oh, I've got this or that or whatever, see whatever you can do to put that on hold until you come back. Because I really think you're not at your best now. You're not at your best now, you're, you're more tired. You're like, no, everyone's bothering me, I can't. You're not normally like that. I think when you get this time out, you get this rest and all that, and you come to the end of that, then you'll get yourself back. You'll be ready to fight. And, and I think, you know, if you, if you don't do that, if you say no, if you say, no, I'm gonna give up now, I think what will happen is later on, you'll get yourself back, you'll be back to yourself again and you'll say, Oh, I should have done that. I've got this fight in me now. I feel really angry. Why didn't I do that? So if that all resonates with you, I know it's specific, but if that all resonates with you, I really think what you should try to do is just get that break, but don't make it a permanent break in this process or whatever this is that you're doing, that you're fighting against, if that's you. Yeah, it's really interesting because I'm getting this fighting, fighting, fighting. I'm tired. Um, yes, yeah, someone's so strange. I, I, I don't know if this is an axe. I don't know. I think it probably is. It, it feels like, okay, it feels like someone's very up and down emotionally. They don't know what they're doing. I, I'm getting that around someone. It, feels, it actually feels like fighting with one hand and missing you on the other hand. It's very, very strange. So it might be that someone's angry at some time and then sometimes they, they're kind of, oh, I miss you, I'm sorry. And then they get angry again. It's like that. And you're not around them. You don't want to be around this person. It's exhausting, absolutely exhausting. Yeah, it feels like an ax. It feels like it's someone you've moved away from. It might be this person in the Five of Swords that you're trying to fight against. I don't know, or it might be a different person. But yeah, that they're watching you. That's what I'm seeing in the Page of Swords here. They're watching you. Uh, they might be watching on social media. Uh, you might want to uh, see if you can block where you can or make sure they can't see you if that's bothering you but they're definitely watching you and uh, they're not happy where they are in life they've got this anger on the one hand maybe this is what they were like when you were with them anger on the one hand and then softness on the other hand I miss you I miss you now I'm angry now I miss you now I'm angry very very strange behavior very strange I don't know if you know about this that's what they feel like now. Um, there's a lot of turmoil around them, lots of turmoil. There's a little bit of anger under the surface, so I need to warn you about that. I'm not seeing any danger. I don't think they're gonna do anything terrible to you. They might come and talk to you at some time, I don't know. Maybe that's another reason why you're kind of hunkering down and you don't want to see anyone right now, because maybe you're sensing this, you know, that they are about to bubble up in anger. And I think when you're with them, maybe you had to sense things around them because you had to sense what they're about to do if that's you. This is what I'm getting. I I'm getting the one that got away. They're the one that got away. That that's how they feel about you. They, they think you're the one that got away. Yeah, they think you're the one that got away. Um, very muddled up thoughts because they've got that, oh, they're the one that got away. Oh, how did I let them get away? I miss them, I miss them. And then they get this anger. Oh, I'm so angry. How could they do this to me? Oh, oh, oh. So they've got, it's backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, just like this page of swords. Just like this page of swords. But yeah, you're, you're free of them now. You're, you're free of this person now. Because it's, it's really interesting. Because if you look at this page, you've got the fool right next to this on the right hand side. And it looks like the fool's looking at this page and he's saying, you know, you're, you're waving your sword around in drama, you're causing all this drama, you're watching me, you're, you're up and down, you're all over the place. I'm the fool now, I'm free of you now. I can look at you, but I'm free. I don't have to deal with you anymore. I don't want any more drama, I don't want any more stress. So, but I, and I don't need it, I don't have to put up with this stress. I don't have to listen to your um, talking, I don't have to listen to your ranting. I'm free of that now, so you can see that there. And you, you're going into a new year, you don't want to bring that energy with you and um, yeah so if that's you just just watch just watch out for your social media because they're on there they're looking at you if that's you they think you're the one that got away they miss you but they're angry at the same time very strange combination if you know who this is you'll know you'll know that's you so and then it's time to just 
watch out a little bit for any, um, you know, for, for some kind of message or something to come in. I'm getting something like that. So just be very, very careful. Um, yeah, very, very mixed up person I'm getting here. Okay, I'm just looking at this nine of cups now. Yeah, this is, I think this is one of the reasons why you're being forced to rest now and retreat and just be away from people right now. This is the wish card. And I think you've got some pretty big things you've been wanting to manifest, actually. I'm seeing some big, big, big things, huge things. And the other thing I'm getting is you're trying not to, to tell other people about that. You're keeping them to yourself. You're keeping it behind the curtain. That's what I'm getting. You're keeping that to yourself. If that's what you're doing, it's absolutely the right thing for you to do. Absolutely the right thing. I think some of these things you want to manifest are quite, first of all, I think they're quite big. They're very big, big things. The other thing is some of these things you want to manifest I think you might have someone around you who doesn't approve of those things. I'm getting family here. It might be your mother. It might be a female energy. It might be a sibling. They don't approve of what this thing is that you want to manifest. It might have something to do with moving or traveling. It's a big, big, big thing. It's a big change in your life that you want. And you know that if you tell people this, the first thing is if you tell people this, that kind of spoils a manifestation. So if you want to manifest anything at all, um, I would suggest that you keep it to yourself. Because once it's opened up to people, people start messing with it. And they start saying, oh, what about that? Have you thought about that? Oh, you can't do that. That's a bad place to go. That's not, and, and, and they spoil it with their talk. So you're right to keep that behind the curtain. You're right to keep up this wish to yourself. And you don't want to open it up to people who disapprove because they'll say all horrible things about this. They'll say, oh, you don't want to do that, la, 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 la. They might even be angry with you. They might be unhappy with you. And you can see right next to this, you've got the Queen of Swords and she's got her back to this man. She's got her back to the wish card. So whoever this is, whoever this family member is, if you know who that is, they don't want you to do this. And I think when you do get this manifestation, and I think you will get this one, I'm getting, I'm getting moving, traveling, something like that. If that's you, it's big. It's a big life change. If that is you, you're 100% right not to say anything right now. Because what it's going to do, when the time comes, when you get this thing or you do this thing, um, they might even stop talking to you. They might be quite angry with you. So there's no point in prolonging, I have to tell you the truth here, that that's what I'm getting. So there's no point in prolonging that and making them angry with you now. So yeah, keep that to yourself. And also, you know, with manifestations, sometimes they change. So it might change into a different thing. Um, but I am seeing a big manifestation that you are going to get. Again, keep it to yourself. I'm seeing lots of spirituality around you. So I think what you might want to do is you might want to meditate because um, again, I'm getting this huge force trying to force you to rest, stay away from people right now, do all that. So if that's you, lie down, meditate if that's what you do. I think if you do that, okay, there's a little warning here. If you do all that meditation or whatever it is and, and you get something that pops up in front of you, you might say, well, that's not what I want. That's not my manifestation. Go with that thing, because what it is, it's a path to your manifestation. It's not the actual thing. It's a path that's showing you how to get there. And I just want to show you this. I know, I know I'm telling you to pop all over the place, but if you look top right-hand corner, you've got the star up there. And there's this beautiful star in the middle. That's your manifestation. And you're manifesting it spiritually. It's the star. And you've got all these little stars around the edge. And what that is, they're the path to your manifestation. You're not being shown the star yet. You're being shown the first step in the path. So don't say, oh, that's not what I want and throw it away. Follow the path and you'll get there. So three things, follow what comes in front of your head. You'll get this thing, you'll get this manifestation. Keep it to yourself. So, so that's what I'm seeing in that card. I hope that makes sense to someone here. Okay. Right, so the first card you've got for your present is this Justice card, yeah. Okay, but this, I keep on getting hidden things. So I'm getting that hidden manifestation. That's what I was getting um, in the Nine of Cups. Um, something else is hidden here. I'm getting family. 
uh, again I think you're hiding things from people in your family again you're not you're not doing this to be sneaky you're not doing that kind of hiding it's really just for self-protection and to protect your manifestation um, and I think you've done that for a long time to some of these family members because you've had a bit of disapproval you've always been a bit different I think I've had this in your readings before very different from the people in your family I think as you get older you feel that gap more and more and more because you're going more into yourself deeper into your manifestations deeper into your spirituality further and further away from a lot of people around you there's a big difference or distance I should say there's a big distance here between you and a female I'm getting a female energy I might be a sibling again I was getting that uh, Queen of Swords down there um, so yeah that there might be someone trying to get you to open up and talk to you and all these kinds of things oh why don't you tell us this why don't you tell us that that's a test if that's happening to you if you've got people saying in your family oh tell us this what's been happening what are you thinking about what's going on come on something's brewing under there I can I can see you're thinking about something that's a test don't fall for that test keep things to yourself at this point in time it's all over this reading it's everywhere you've got to keep things to yourself you've got to keep yourself to yourself you've got to get that rest you've got to get that meditation or whatever it is you've got to retreat you've got to get that time so that you can manifest this thing that's why you're getting this very strong urge to stay away from people and all that kind of negative energy that's going to make those manifestations go backwards you don't want any of that right now so I hope that all makes sense to you um okay so the other thing I'm getting here is I keep yeah I'm getting this you're pushing someone away you're pushing someone away you're pushing someone away in love this is what I'm getting I don't know if you mean to do that I don't know if you know that's what you're doing um, it, it, I think at the moment what the problem is it just feels like everyone's pushing themselves on you and they're not not everyone's pushing themselves on you I, I think if you're in this kind of mode someone could say hello and it feels like an imposition that's the kind of situation I'm getting around someone here and then you know it's a bit like oh who's coming for me next who's next come on what else you know the the phone goes and like oh you know and the old you's like oh the phone's going that's interesting who's that now it's like oh the phone's going oh it's that's the difference and that's because you're not supposed to be talking to as many people right now excuse me you're not supposed to be engaging with so many people so what I want to tell you here is if you're in a relationship right now or if you're talking to someone in love someone's feeling that from you they're feeling that separation from you uh, they're feeling quite upset they're feeling quite separated um, and you know that they what they really want is passion with you they're a very passionate person I'm getting that really really clearly because if you look at this fool um, he's got um, this big red feather on his head and if you look at the nine of cups there's the same big red feather so they've got a passion but you're still closed off you're still closed off you're like this man in the nine of cups you've got the curtain pulled up and you're like no you're not coming inside so I think what's happening is with this person they've got a lot of patience they've got passion they feel a bit hurt they might retreat for a while but I think they are going to come back to you whether you're in a relationship or not it's some kind of love connection you're in now if that's you what I'm getting is when you get out of this mode of oh, I need to be by myself I'm a bit grumpy I can't be around people you're going to get out of this and I think when you do you're going to see the potential in this again it might be that at the moment that you're in a in a love situation you're thinking do I really want to be with them anymore I don't have those feelings anymore you know do I want to leave them is this doomed should I be in this you might be questioning that if that's you I think that's going to be over soon I think what's going to happen is you're going to get a lot of really nice feelings back and that's when you get back to your old self again um, you know you're going to see the Sun again it's really interesting because I'm just looking at this um, this full card and um, you can see that um, right in the corner you've got the Sun there and it's only in the quarter of the Sun so you're not feeling the full feelings of their love right now 
you're only feeling a quarter of that. But once you feel that, once you get out of this mode and you can open yourself up to people again, you'll start feeling that love coming from them again. You'll start feeling that sun again. You know, you, you'll start feeling that again. And at the moment you can't, but in time you will, when you get through whatever this is. So, you know, just hold on, I think, if you're in a love connection, if you're questioning, if you're not sure. Again, I don't want to tell you what to do, but I have to say, this is what I'm seeing. You are going to get your feelings back again. You are going to get your old self back again. And, and I think they're waiting. I think they're going to be patient. Um, so, yeah, that, that's all I really have to say about that. But just a lot of things are on hold until you get yourself back again in this reading. I, I'm getting that everywhere. So... But you need that time. You're being forced to get this time out right now for this manifestation. And I think for other reasons as well. Okay, so the first card you've got for your future is this beautiful, beautiful star card. Um, yeah, look at the contrast between this and this tower. So again, you've got this manifestation. It's coming up around you right now. You can't quite see how to get there yet, but you are going to be shown how to get there. Um, you're going to be shown that soon probably before the end of the year you'll start to find a really clear path into how you're going to get your manifestation how you're going to get this thing again i keep on seeing traveling moving something like that it might be it, it feels very very big it feels very, i'm actually seeing a literal tower not a, not one that's burning like that <laughs> but it might be an apartment building it might be an office building it's, it's some kind of big building it might be where you're going to study it's a big thing you want and it's in a building. So I'm getting that really clearly for someone. If that's you, that's coming up for you. But yeah, when you look at this tower underneath this beautiful woman in the star card, um, it almost looks like there's a fire being lit under this poor woman here. So to me, that's a warning, obviously, with this tower here. I think this axe that's a little bit angry, they're kind of angry one minute, missing you the next minute, they think you're the one that got away and all that kind of thing. I think this is when they might come back and you might see them in some way. Now, I think they're going to try and message you. I think they're going to try and talk to you. They might not be able to do that because I think you might have things blocked or you're going to do that. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm seeing, what I'm seeing is I'm seeing their name coming up. So it might be you see their name on social media. It might be that there's an old email address or something you didn't know you had and they, they speak to you there or something. Their name comes up. You see their name. That's what I'm getting. And when you see their name, that's when you feel like you've got this big tower inside you. It's like, oh, all that emotion. It's making me, it's spoiling my peace. I'm trying to get peace. That emotional upheaval is spoiling my peace that's what i'm getting so i have to be honest i have to tell you even if you block them they are going to infiltrate your peace in some way so block them do whatever you can if that's you but you are going to see a name i'm getting that for someone um but i think what happens after that is i think what's going to happen is they're going to realize that yeah it, i think it really is the end now I think it really is the end now. It's time for me to walk away now. You know, I, this is my last chance of trying to see if they're going to notice me or say something. I'm going to retreat now. I'm, I'm going to retreat myself or I'm going to move forward now. Because um, if you look at this man in the Nine of Wands, he's moving forward. You know, he's, he's sad. He's dejected. He's, you know, he's been injured but he's moving forwards. So I think that's what's going to happen after that um, feeling you get. So after you f if, you, if you see their name and you feel that, oh, that emotional upheaval, just know, um, I know it's not going to feel good, but if, if this gives you comfort, I just want to tell you this, that means that this is the beginning of the end of them, the end of them trying to contact you at least. So just know that if that's you. Um, but yeah, make the most of this time to yourself because it's an important time. It's not just you being grumpy and not wanting to be around people if that's you. It's so that you can really concentrate on this manifestation. So, so that's what I'm getting there for someone here. So Scorpio, I hope this resonated, not the end bit, but I hope it did, and a lot of it anyway. Um, it's a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with everyone, as you know. Um, but thank you for watching.